boy, AJ the Great, AJ Two Time, AJ Sizzle. I'm with my boy Blue. What up? I take this presentation. Uh, the Battle of Alamein is our presentation by me, myself, Alan Clark, and my partner Blue. This is the battle map of the Battle of Alamein of where this event all occurred. The Allies versus the Axis. The Allies, made up of the Germ, Great Britain, France, the Soviet Union, China, and the United States. On the other hand, the Axis forces were made up of Germany, Italy, and Japan. The Axis and Allied forces fought for Egypt, which also gave bonuses of the oil fields and the Suez Canal. These battles became known as the Battle of Alamey, also known as the Battle of the Tanks. During this war, over a hundred tanks used involved on both sides, over half were destroyed. Many different tanks were involved, such as the Panzer Division and Italian Latoya Division. Egypt. Egypt was an important prize to win between the Allies and Axis. Egypt was also a wealthy North African country. Egypt had all access to the most important shipping lane in the Mediterranean. The Suez Canal the Suez Canal was a valuable holding because it gave the holder quicker access to Middle East oil fields. The oil fields were the key source of British oil for their tanks, planes, and other war vehicles. On the other hand, the Germans didn't have, have access to this type of oil. Therefore, if the Germans were able to seize this oil field, they would cripple their biggest opponents and it would strengthen their position. Planning for the next battle, Prime Minister of England Winston Churchill yeah. went to Egypt personally and replaced the commander with Lieutenant General Bernard yeah. Montgomery. The new commander was soon to act and created a plan called Operation Lightfoot. The plan included two points of attack, yeah. one point on the north of the expedition and the other from the southwest. The two of the positions would be responsible for making a pass so then the British tanks can clean up the rest. On October 23, 1942, Operation Lightfoot was to go. Montgomery wanted to get this done as fast as possible, led by famed German General Erwin Rommel, known as the Desert Fox, send as much support as they could, but just couldn't hold. By November 6, the British forces had chased the Axis forces east of Sidi Hanesh, 250 miles east of Cairo. Finally, November 11th, Montgomery and the British had pushed the Axis out of Egypt. The Allies and Axis had a feud for quite a while. It all took place in Egypt, where it would change who would be dominant. The Allies were coming in with an executed plan, while Axis were just ready for whatever came. The war began on October 23rd, 1942, and the Axis were in for it. Montgomery was giving help to the Axis. Erwin Rommel, leader of the Axis, was in a stir. With the Allies at his doorstep, the Axis were so unready that Rommel sent to Germany that the armies are so exhausted. Operation Lightfoot. Operation Lightfoot was the plan that won the war. The plan was made by Ger General Montgomery. This plan included the two points of attack, one for the north of the Axis forces and one from the southwest. The head of both of these attacks are for cleaning a path through the minefield so that the tanks can clean up the mess. The troops had to go through the minefield and deactivate the mines so the tanks can go through smoothly. All right, this is your boy, AJ the Great. We out with my boy, Blue. See ya. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, and comment for more. And it's your boy, AJ the Great. I'm out. Peace.